Hello Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about the reality of your belief system can make you either headed for danger or headed for deliverance. The reality of your belief system leads you to danger or deliverance. You know what I'm saying? Look, problem is, you know, here's the thing that we have to come to accept. Like, you know, I'm going to keep on saying it till people let it register, until it register inside you. Um, you got to believe, you got to come to this understanding that you came into this world. You came into this world. You know what I'm saying? You didn't create this world. You came into a world. So therefore, you came into something that was already established, that already had a law system already established. No, no, really, you cannot create a own, your own law established system. No, it already came with a law and established system that people are not, you know, trying to understand or, you know, consider concerning how they make their decisions and how concerning they, you know, go after things or seek after things, you know what I'm saying? They just think that, you know, oh, according to my view, you know what I'm saying? The thing is, you know, you know, God taught me that a full oh, video, oh, I'll talk to you later, I won't video, uh, 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 you know, um, the thing is, you know, what makes a fool, you know what I'm saying, a fool is, you know, you, they believe in their own system you know what I'm saying and they believe in their own you know direction they think their direction is correct based upon what their from what knowledge that was received from them you know what I'm saying not the whole you know reality of the truth but based upon what knowledge is received from their standpoint and their view is what's dangerous that people are not considering on how they establish what they believe in. They do. They believe in, and they stop, and they they you know stop, you know, uh, seeking. They stop seeking the truth, you know. And the thing is, you know, what I learned, you know, that God taught me based upon the uh, kingdom of God. He's supposed to seek you first, the kingdom of God, and all His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Now, the thing is. We're supposed to be seeking after, when it says kingdom, it means system. We're supposed to seek after his divine system to how it works concerning how he created it. And then everything, everything that is exists that he created will make sense of how we're supposed to treat it accordingly to, you know, what he made it for. You know what I'm saying? And that we need to understand, you know what I'm saying? His system of of right and his of his righteousness, you know what I'm saying? Not his wickedness, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, people, you know, try to make their belief systems based upon their point of view and a point of view that they want to desire to believe, that will create a fantasy within their own mindset that they will, you know, uh, become a fool. You know what I'm saying? It's really the situation of the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, that John talked about that makes people fools concerning this world system. That people are not addressing the side effects of the majority. The side effects of the majority of people that are following this pattern are perishing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's just that, you know, you are supposed to let reality speak for ourselves instead of stop ignoring reality. And that's what lust is for, really. I tell people, lust is for ignoring reality. If you can ignore reality, you can become the, as much as you know, ignore reality, as much as you become the greatest fool. You become more foolish. You become more foolish. And you start breaking rules according to something that's already established and end up losing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I tell you know, the world system will make you become losers because the thing is when you do wickedness, you start losing things. You start losing 
first of all, who you are made in the image and likeness of God. You start losing, well, like I told you, the ingredients of the earth is uh, without form, void, darkness. See, the thing is, when you start participating in um, wickedness, you start losing the formation that God has created you. Oh, yeah, I got to, oh, man, uh, I got to teach you. I'm finna end. Well, you know, I, I'm gonna do a message called Frosty Snowman. I'm gonna teach people that, you know, the idea that we are spiritual Frosties, the snowman. But, I, you know, gonna get there later. But the thing is, we start losing form. You know what I'm saying? And the problem is, when we lose our form, uh, we, we avoid enter inside of us. Because now, what we was once is now, you know, has. Incom well, void means something that is empty or incomplete. <laughs> like everybody feels this incomplete void when they operate in sin. And they try to use, of course, drugs and, and drinking and whatever to suffice the incompletion, you know, that's inside of you. But not realizing the more you indulge in it, it's going to expand your incompletion. You know what I'm saying? The more you take up these you know things of the world these um da dangerous substance you know what i'm saying you get more incomplete and you try to fill it more and it the more you feel it the more empty it gets that's the deception of it that like people don't realize that they're full of emptiness and yeah it's a such thing of being full with emptiness it's more likely sin expands the void that's inside you you know what i'm saying and the problem is People, the, as much as you believe Satan and that what's right in front of you, they tell you advertising that it's the greatest thing to ever have, greatest thing to ever, you know, get into. The, the, the much as you going to keep believing and believing that it's going to complete you and you get more incomplete, more incomplete, more incomplete, more incomplete. And it's sad. I see people in this incompletion cycle going after the things of this earth. It's all about expanding your void. But guess what? The more Satan can buy commercials on television, radio, or whatever, you know, place of communication, they can advertise it, the more you will believe and become incomplete. That's how it is. It's, it's the world is believe incomplete. Believe incomplete. But the system of the Word of God, according to the B attitudes, they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be full, is a you know believe and become complete believe and become complete believe and become complete it's a cycle and the thing is you must understand that we we live in a cycle because we live in a world that's established by a process that everything goes and goes on and goes on and goes on you know what i'm saying it goes it goes to a point and it goes to a place it goes to a length our lives have a length to it you know what i'm saying that we need to see for what it is to understand that I need to stop getting incomplete and I need to be about, you know, something that's going to complete me. You know what I'm saying? And that your belief system is going to base on that. And the thing is, if that's the reality, that means whatever information that you are taking in, you know what I'm saying, inside your heart, you know what I'm saying, inside your soul, inside your mind, is helping your belief system to magnify, yeah, and belief system magnifies the uh, uh, whatever you want to believe. Like I'd say, faith or fear, love or lust. See, the thing is, the problem of a person that uh, operate in darkness is because they magnify lust, they magnify, you know, fear, they magnify things that are contrary to God. That's what will lead them to the path of righteousness. I mean, path of, path of wickedness. Um, that is dangerous that, you know, it leads to death. as what Paul says, you know, wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. But, you know, the thing is, the gift of God is all, like, you know, Christmas is every day, you know what I'm saying? The gift of God of eternal life is you can get this gift any day you want to, you know what I'm saying? This gift, but guess what? What if you don't think this gift is worth giving? You know what I'm saying? What if you are in darkness that you can't see this great gift, you know, Jesus Christ is worth, you know, pursuing after. See, and that's how the belief factor, it will take, will be the reason why you do not 
have life and life more abundantly. You know what I'm saying? Your belief system uh, is is can be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? You know, or it will deliver you. See what I'm saying? Yo, that's the thing. It, it, it will it will be dangerous when it's about wickedness, but it will deliver you if it's about righteousness. And that's how it works. It's two ways, you know what I'm saying? You know, two directions, you know, left, right, you know what I'm saying? Front or backwards, up and down. It's how it goes, you know. There's no many ways, it's only two ways, up or down, left and right. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But the thing is, your belief system determine that. So I encourage you to start listening to the word of God and start believing the word of God so your belief system can be correct and try to give you deliverance. You know what I'm saying? It will lead you to deliverance. Just as, you know, like I tell people, uh, Moses and the children of Israel is the type of uh, pattern that we need to see about the process of deliverance has to take place before we go to the promised land. We have to be delivered over certain things to get to the promised land. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody's trying to get to this promised land. You know, in entering the danger. You know, doing things you know that will lead to danger. Danger in, you know, uh, of who you are concerning, you know, uh, being a human being. You know, you know those wicked. I mean, the sin, you know, sin, you know, for acts that you do commit it leads to danger you know what i'm saying you're supposed to hear the guy on the robot on lost in space danger 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 he needs to be on everybody here when everybody else you know contemplating on sinning danger 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 and aggravate you to i hope he aggravates you to go to deliverance you know what i'm saying start seeking after righteousness you know what i'm saying they that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be full that's the whole idea of what Jesus Christ desires us to do. So I pray that your belief system start working correctly. And it start working correctly is our faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. But fear come by hearing, hearing the lies of the devil. All right, that's the message. I hope you receive it. I hope your belief system start getting cleaned up and stop getting corrupted. Mm. To God be the glory, here and forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.